Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick, and welcome to Lightroom Blog, where we're talking about some of the features of Lightroom Classic CC. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Embedded Previews workflow. So let's look at the Embedded Preview workflow. To do this, there are a couple of options that you need to look at, first of all, in Preferences. Um, if you're using a mirrorless camera and you've shot RAW plus JPEG to take advantage of the larger preview that you get by having a RAW file being used as the preview, it doesn't matter if you have three JPEGs next to RAW files turned on or off, it will import the JPEGs anyway as sidecar files. They just don't get treated as normal files. It doesn't matter if this is on or not. So in this case, we're just going to leave it off. Normally, I would have it on for this. The reason being, it's easier to find the JPEGs to get rid of them. But you can just find them on disk and delete them after this preview has been, after the previews have been generated. This one here is really important though, the next one, which is a new preference, and that is replace embedded previews with standard previews during idle time. What this does is if you're doing nothing, it will start to generate previews. If you want to use this embedded preview workflow, which is the idea is that when you're doing the run through for your passes, that you get the speed of the JPEGs or the in, in raw uh, JPEG preview, uh, that this will just leave them there all of the time until you manually update them, which is easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's begin. Um, I'm going to actually bring in something that I have on the disk rather than on the card, just for the sake of speed of import. And so these are being brought in from the desktop, and in this case, I could just do an add um, for, for the sake of speed rather than have a copy. But the most important thing here is build previews has to be switched to embedded and sidecar. That way it's not going to generate any other previews. This is the most important thing about it. Now these have raw or JPEGs with them as well. So that's because they were shot on a mirrorless camera, which only has a like roughly a half size preview in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click import. And it will import the files at their current location. Uh, there's two parts to this. There's the import and the results of the initial preview fetch, which is supposed to happen in parallel, but I don't always see it happening in parallel. So as you can see here, we've got the import files and we've got the fetching initial previews. So once the images are in, our fetching is taking place there. It seems to be missing the first one. Oh, I might have switched it over then. But here we can see quite clearly that I've got RAF plus JPEG here. And we can see we've got this small little icon here. This is the icon that tells you to build a preview. We'll come back to that in a second, but I'm going to come in here and we can see down here we got the embedded preview and it's in one to one. So I'm just going to jump back out to fit. Now it doesn't zoom in a whole lot here because I'm actually on a 5k monitor. And how I know that this is definitely embedded previews is that this was shot with a negative standard and this was shot with the Velvia. So you can actually see the difference in color between them. So this quite clearly says embedded preview and I can zoom in and out really, really quickly and we can see that there's no loading bezel or anything like that. So that means that you can actually fly through these images. So if you want to generate a preview, what do we do? Okay, well, I'm just going to press G to go back to the grid here or actually I can do it down here in the film strip as well. If I click this little icon, it brings up the dialog to build selected or build all. I'm just going to build selected to have that one uh, generated. So we see here it says building standard previews. Okay, so one standard preview is built. You can also build previews from the library previews build standard previews. So if I go to the next image, which is an embedded preview, you'll be able to see that it's a little bit more saturated. So that just gives you an idea of what's going on with that. Uh, so as you can see, like it speeds through here. So there's absolutely no problem with speed doing the embedded preview uh, workflow. So that's the idea is that you're able to come in here and like make your selections, for example, here. You're not too worried if like if something's blown out here, it doesn't really matter because you know that you're going to go back to the raw file. So let's say, for example, here, this one is, is one that I know I should be able to save anyway. So I'm going to build selected. And we will find that we get the dialogue. So we can see here that all of this detail has come back because it's just blown out in the JPEG. But it means that I'm able to work through here without having to go to the bother of waiting for the files to generate. So for, like here, I can see straight away this one's got the focus where I wanted. So I could rate that one, for example. So folks, that is the embedded JPEG preview that now exists in Lightroom Classic CC. It gives you the speed of what you get from Photo Mechanic and other workflows that use the embedded preview.
previews inside the raw files or even just the JPEGs themselves. So it allows you to make very, very quick selections in comparison to how it used to be when you were waiting for the previews to generate. Hey folks, hope you got something out of that. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified when new videos come online. Do like the video if you thought it was good and share it on your social media. Appreciate that very, very much. Thanks for taking time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.